Hello everyone, this is Nick Perry at Schaefer's Investment Research with your chart slide show for Tuesday, April 8th. Today I'm back with my weekly check of the broad market indices. As regular readers are already aware, I was out of the office last week uh, with the birth of my baby daughter, uh, but I made it back into the office yesterday, got the uh, market uh, time back under my belt, so I'm back uh, seeing what's going on. But before we get to that, you know, I want to pick up where we left off. Uh, what you see on your screen are the charts from what's just over two weeks ago. Uh, at the time, we were talking about this pullback to support and the bounce off of it. Basically said uh, they're showing hints of strength and the takeaway was the overhead resistance. Uh, and overall, the, you know, the action was mildly encouraging. All right, so when we turn to the current charts, we see that that mildly encouraging action has continued. Uh, we have more or less uh, put in a fairly steady rally, um, almost a little, little mini stair-step rally where you get the surges and controlled pullback surges, and it's taken us right back this, to this overhead resistance. And that level capped the rally attempt here, capped it here, and we're hitting it right now. Uh, one of the things we talked about in the previous chart slideshow was the Dow. It had been a little bit stronger in terms of pushing up and testing the resistance, um, but that index hasn't made any progress in terms of a breakout above its peaks. When we look at the comp, uh, we see we, we have a rally, but we're not quite back to that resistance. And when we look at the rut, we've got, um, again, it's just shy of hitting these peaks here. As far as the overall takeaway, uh, I would say that the term mildly encouraging still applies. Um, you know, we're, we're still in this range here, um, so that's not great, but I'm calling it mildly encouraging because we're at least not continuing the downtrend, at least not yet. Uh, we appear to be locked in this, this consolidation phase. Um, those are real tough to call in terms of predicting which way you're going to see as in terms of a breakup or a breakdown. Um, unfortunately, the charts just don't give you that much that much information. At least they don't give it to me. Um, clear off the chart here. Uh, what I would say is the action this week is keep an eye right here on this overhead resistance. You know, we pushed up into it. The thing now to look for is what kind of rejection do we see? You know, if we see a fairly robust rejection those lows are going to be in play. Uh, if we see maybe a milder rejection, that would be a mildly encouraging sign, and the best case scenario is a breakout uh, above that overhead resistance. Um, so for now, I think it's just kind of wait and see what happens here and see how this resolves itself. The question is whether buyers are finally willing to step in. Uh, we got earnings season starting to ramp up. Um, Alcoa didn't exactly blow the doors off uh, the barn here, but you know, the market's still holding at this uh, resistance, so again, that's what I'll be keeping an eye on in the coming week. But as always, stay tuned to the blog for further updates.